Talk about uh, vibrating jigs for a minute and uh, the jig I, of choice for me is a, a Strike King Pure Poison. This is a half ounce, um, 3 eighths or half ounce is usually what I use. This is one of my favorite colors and setups too actually. This is a bluegill color, um, got a green pumpkin rage minnow on the back and um, a little bit about the rod and reel and everything I'm used. High speed, uh, 7 4 to 1 Corrado, that's my choice. I want something with some power and some speed because a lot of times a fish will grab a pure poison and it'll come right at you. I want to be able to take the slack up. The rod's important. Probably the, probably the most important thing to fishing a vibrating jig is the type of rod you choose. This is actually uh, more of a, a crankbait rod than, than and it would surprise you that I'm using that for a, a vibrating jig, but it's a uh, Zodius 170 medium glass. And what I'm looking for, this rod still has quite a bit of backbone, you know, so it's, it has that uh, very little flex down low. What that's going to mean is I can drive the hook home, but I can also pull that fish away from cover. The rest of this rod is very, very light. Um, what that's going to allow me to do is say I'm burning that pure poison in. If you notice, one thing to notice, you know, it's not a spinner bait it pulls back. If you'll watch the uh, the rod tip as I reel it in, I mean it's in open water right there and it's, it's loaded. It's loaded so it's pulling very hard against the tip of the rod. And what that means is when a fish bites it, well you're going to want to pull it away and that's very easy to do and most of the fish lost on a vibrating jig are because premature premature hook set. So uh, choose a softer rod, something more along the lines of a crankbait type rod that's my rod reel and, and uh, bait of choice. Uh, 20 pound line is typically what I'm going to throw it on because it's going to be around a lot of cover. This is Seaguar and Vizex 20 pound. But um, this is a good setup. Works for me just about on any place I fish. As far as colors, that's one of my favorites. White and chartreuse or pure white with a silver blade or white and chartreuse with a gold blade gets the job done just about anywhere across the country for me.